Hell yeah, what's up guys? It's Chris Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back again guys. Today we're going to talk about YouTube's new translation tool. Yep, we got a best practice video coming up here and we got something brand new that not a lot of people are using. It just came out and here's the thing. It can help you attract a larger audience and community, in particular a global audience. Sounds good? Well, it is. So stay tuned and let's talk about it. All right, with that little re preamble out of the way, I will acknowledge up front here that YouTube has had some translation tools in the past. As you're probably aware, you could upload subtitles or closed captions in a second language and bang, they will show up on the video. Here's the thing, it was a lot of work, took a lot of time, and really it wasn't getting really great results. So most people just don't use that feature or that feature set. And YouTube, well, they caught on to that. They're like, hey, we can do this and this isn't working. So they've gone ahead and made some big changes. In fact, two major changes and those are things I'm going to talk about. All right. The first major change is, all right, the first major change is the least exciting out of the two, but I want to get this one out of the way and at least make you guys aware that it's out there now. Here's the thing. YouTube has created a translation marketplace. Yeah, sounds kind of weird, eh? It's kind of cool. Well, it's out there. It's available. For those of you that make videos and you want to get your videos translated through subtitles, through uh, closed captions, and even your descriptions and your video titles, you can have them translated through this new tool. How does it work? Well, basically, you'll go into your video manager or your creator dashboard there and you drop down and you go to translations and then bang, there's a marketplace. This marketplace uh, revolves around a bid and an ask price. So it's really, really new. It's pretty beta, not gonna lie. And uh, it is there now. I haven't used it personally, but I am gonna take a look at it and do that in a tutorial that follows this uh, video here. So if you guys wanna take a first look with me, there's a tutorial attached to this. We're gonna look at it, guys. Keep in mind that the reason why you might wanna consider translating it, your video, or, or the next feature, which I'll talk about in a second, is, well, 60%, sometimes 66%, two thirds of your videos, come from countries that are not your own. And in some countries, it's even higher. And in a lot of those countries, they speak different languages. If you have a video that's really, really cool and really popular and you really, really like it, and you think it would do well in another language, having all of that search engine optimization with you know all of the terms and the titles and everything else in another language could actually get you more viewers and get you more subs and all that stuff. So it could be worth doing this translation. Also, if anybody has used the marketplace for this, and I don't think anybody has yet because it's pretty new, but if you have, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about it. All right, let's get into the second more exciting feature now. All right, the second and most exciting feature, in my opinion, is having your community translate your videos. What the heck? You're probably thinking, yeah, guys, they've opened it up via, uh, you know, vis-a-vis -a, -vis a crowdsource model where your community, your, if your community is active, presumably, they can go ahead and just start translating your videos for you if you let them. This is a feature that you have to enable and I will show you in the tutorial where this is available and how to do it. But yes, guys, this is available. So for those of you that have an active community, this could be really good news because your people might just go ahead and start translating your video and you'll just get more subs, more views just by not even doing anything other than clicking a few switches. The other thing, guys, are for those of you that are newer to YouTube or maybe your community isn't very large yet, you might not benefit from this right away because, you know, who's going to take the time to do that if you've only got like a few viewers. But here's something you might want to think about, and here's a best practice. You may, if you speak two languages, for example, and another guy or another gal makes a video and they speak two languages or something like that, you can actually offer to translate a video for them and maybe they can translate a video for you. If I speak English and French and you speak uh, English and Japanese, I'll translate your Japanese video into French and you could translate my video into whatever I just told you to Japanese, my English video into Japanese. Boom, tit for tat. You guys both benefit from that and you don't need a large community for that. This is completely hypothetical. I have not tried this. I don't think anybody's tried it yet. It's still new, but you might want to think about this. Also guys, think about some of the stats I mentioned briefly in the past. Two thirds of your videos, like I said, they come from other countries. 60, up to 60% of people that click on videos don't, you know, they might not be first uh, they might not, that, whatever your languages might not be the first language, English in most cases, as I imagine. But guys, all that in mind, yeah, there is an opportunity to get out to a global audience. Also, 
This is a new feature from YouTube. So for people that adopt new features from, from big providers like YouTube and Google, they often get, I will say, incommensurate rewards, meaning that YouTube wants this feature to work. They spent probably years, maybe months developing this. Who knows how much money they spent setting this up. They want it to work. People that adopt new technologies like this and they adopt them quickly, they often get outsized rewards. Think about League of Legends, for example. A new character gets released. He's always friggin' OP at the beginning, or she's OP. It's just how it is. They nerf it at some point, but it's always OP. Well, this is a new feature. This is probably OP right now. So you may want to get on this bandwagon, test it out. This could be a big opportunity for you guys. All right, this is my best practice for today. I hope this info helped. Please let me know if you've tried this or you're intending on trying this. And if you had results with it or any luck, let me know. Please enjoy the tutorial that I'm about to show you now. And I'll be back soon with some more freedom stuff. You know how it is. This is Big C. Check it out. Hello, hello. Welcome to the tutorial component of the video. I'm going to try and make this nice and quick. But uh, accessing the translation uh, functionality isn't extremely user friendly. So we got to take a quick look around. Obviously, you'll see that this is my personal channel. I've got 433 subscribers. Woohoo! Yeah, all right. But I, in case you want to subscribe, I do all sorts of tricky tutorials about how to create camera tracking and enhancing dark footage and using expressions. And basically, I'm going to make you into a really good editor if you want to be a good editor. So come on down. But either way, it doesn't matter. <laughs> to access the translation features, let's get going. Click on the little icon here access your creator studio we're going to look at the paid for version first just because that's the easier one to find okay here we go we're on this now all we got to do is select a video so let's say i'm just going to select uh no i hit the wrong button there uh, 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 sorry i'm going to select this video how to render an alpha channel in adobe after effects for example click on the down arrow then you want to go to info and add settings right here oh yeah and yeah you're going to see the the standard stuff but there is a tab called translations all you could have to do is go down to here and you're going to see the new get professional translation by translation click on that and it's going to take you through the process i haven't uploaded the captions to this yet so uh, it's not going to let me do that yet but if i want to translate from english pick your original language i want the title i want the description and i'm going to click next then I'm going to select an a uh, language that I want to translate it to. We're going to go right down to the bottom and go to Zulu. Obviously, I got a big market over there. I didn't even know that was a language, but whatever. Click Next. Bang. We have two service providers currently. You're going to see that they've got a four and a half star here, four and a half star there. And here is their pricing, $7 and $49. Holy smokes, there's quite a difference. And if you click on that, you're going to notice that the pay option comes up. I'm obviously not going to translate this into Zulu, but this is how you would do it if you're interested in it. Now, the second part of the video, we talked about community, which is probably the part that's most interesting to you guys. To access that, it is not down here. You need to go to community, for at least for the first time. Click on the community button, and then you got to go down to contribute subtitles and manage subtitles and CC. So let's manage subtitles and CC. Let's see what happens here. You have nothing in the thingy dingy. This is where it gets wonky. You actually have to go to this button up here, the little tool button, click it, and then go through the process. So as you can see here, you could turn on or off community contributed subtitles and closed captions, etc, etc. To use this feature, da, 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 what language? I speak English. All right turn on for all videos or turn off for all videos we're going to turn on for all videos at this point bang community contributed subtitles and cc turned on for all videos guys community people can go in and go nuts and get on this so there you go that's how you enable it there might be a little bit more to it but right now that's where it's at with the beta i hope this helped you and i will be back tomorrow with another freedom video thanks for watching